In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can visualize genomes using the tool JBrowse. For those who don't know, JBrowse is a tool that is used to visualize genomes. And this is the page. So in case you want to read about the tool, you can visit this page and then read more about it. I will leave the link to this page in the description box. I also have a tutorial that shows how to install JBrowse. So check the description box, you'll find a link to that video. You need to make sure you have JBrowse installed. So make sure you set it up. And let me also say that the ebook as well as the script for this tutorial are all available on my Patreon channel. So check the description box for the link and then you can use that to get the materials. So take note of that. Now let's download the example data we will use. So I have the data on one of my GitHub reports, which is here. I will leave the link to this page in the description box. So when you are here, you will find this file annotation underscore one dot zip. So click it. And then you'll be sent to another page. So come to the right side, you'll find a download button here. So to download, you can click it and then save it in an appropriate directory. But I'll use the terminal. So I'll right click and then get the download link. So I'll copy the link and then I'll move to the terminal. I am using a Linux system by the way. So when I want to tell now, create a directory called annotation. So I'll say make the annotation and then I'll CD into it. After that, I'll use wget to download the example data. So I'll say wget and then I'll supply it with the link. So I'll paste it and then I'll execute this command. So this will download it for me. So now let's clear the screen and check the file. So I'll say clear and I'll say ls. So this will give me the file. This is a zip file. So we need to unzip it. So I'll say unzip and then I'll specify the file. So I'll unzip it. So if I do an ls now, I'm going to see some files here. Okay. So we have this info.txt. We also have this first a file and then this one here. So the info.txt just gives a description of the data. So I'll say cut info.txt. So this data was generated from an earlier tutorial I made. So in that tutorial, I showed how to assemble viral genomes and also how to annotate them. Okay, so uh, this file here and this file here, they are outputs from that tutorial. So you can check the description box if you want to learn how to assemble and annotate viral genomes okay the link to the tutorial is there okay so we are going to load this and this these two files into jbrowse so we need to open jbrowse first again if you have not installed jbrowse check the description box there's a tutorial that shows you how to install it okay now let's do this so let's call jbrowse now so we open so i'll say jbrowse and then i'll open it now okay mine has been open so if we have it open like this come to the left side you'll find this button here open sequence file so click it and then give a name to your assembly okay so i'll give a name so i'll just say my assembly you can give any name you want. That's fine. We are going to load a fast A file first. So it is not indexed. So I'll select fast A adapter. And then when I come here, I'll click on file. And then I'll click on choose file. This one here. And then I will locate where my files are. So mine, I, mine can be found here. So I'll click the .fna. First, that's the fast A file. I'll double click or I'll click and open. Any of them should load it for you. So do it and then you will see it here. Now I'll come to submit, click it. And then you'll see this window being opened. So when you are here, make sure you have this option, linear genome view. Okay, if it's not there, click and then select the linear genome view. Okay, you can experiment with others too, that's fine. But for now, let's use this one. Now I'll click on launch view after that. And then you have this. So when you see this, click on open. And then after that, you will see this information here. So we see 
we see that no tracks active. That's what we have here. So click on the open track selector because we need to load tracks. We need to get the sequence information. So open and then on the right side, make sure you check the reference sequence. Okay. Okay, so you can also check up here and then you can drag left and right. Okay. So you can do that as well here, okay. But we will leave it as it is. Okay, so after checking your reference sequence, that's the first day sequence, we will need to add the features, the annotation. Okay, so to do that, come to the lower button here and then click the plus button. So click it and then click on add track. After that, come to the main file section and then click on file. And then choose file. Click on the choose file. And then select your GFF file. Okay, so I repeat. Just click on the choose file and then select your GFF file. And after that, come to next here. Leave it as it is. So come to next, click it. And then here we will leave everything as it is. So come to add, click add, and then you see this. So when you see this, I just come to the left side, you find some tracks being loaded. So these are the annotations. So we can close this, close this, and then now explore what you have. Okay, so if you're interested in any gene, you can just click it for example this one and then you can check the information here okay we also have some information that you can check but you can just explore this video is just an intro so it's up to you to explore and then learn more so check the jbrowse websites you'll find documentation that will help you to explore your genomes further in addition to jbrowse there are other tools that can be used to visualize genomes you can use tools like artemis igv circles etc and i have to tutorials that show how to use these tools so check this playlist and you'll find tutorials that show how to use these tools